Peace. This Monroe Jr. I'll be giving my commentary right after this video. Peace. Tomorrow, an 11 year old is set to graduate college. Yeah, this young boy who lives in Palm Harbor has never been homeschooled. And as ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon found out, by age five, age five, he was declared a genius. Was two plus five? This video shows a young William Malis doing addition and subtraction. His parents say by one and a half years old, he could do simple math. But how about two plus two? Two plus two equals four. Today, we sat down with William, who is now 11 years old. He's set to graduate from St. Petersburg College with an associate degree on Saturday. He's been taking classes at the campus in Tarpon Springs. I don't stand out because I'm shorter than the rest. <laughs> His father tells us William was always on a fast track. We have a he could read by two, learn the alphabet by three, and algebra by four. William graduated in 2016 from Penn Trafford High School in Pittsburgh at age nine. Everybody has gifts from God, and I was gifted with knowledge. William says he has dreams of becoming an astrophysicist and will now focus on taking classes at the University of South Florida. At first it was definitely different, but you get used to it. He says his advice for others, live your dreams. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News. At news. Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. So you just saw the video of the young brother he aspires to be a astrophysicist and he actually says that he wants to prove to the world that God does exist through science. So I thought that was so heavy that his mind is already set on proving that at the age of 11. I said, go ahead, man. I'm going to play a clip of Minister Farrakhan talking about the importance of education and how our youth don't have time to go to college for disciplines that don't have any impact on society right that don't help us progress as a nation of people and we really need the sciences especially in the black community uh we know we need engineers mathematicians we need all of that but i'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip family peace A young lady was talking to me the other day about college. She wanted my help to help her with her education. And I said, uh, what do you want to be? And she gave me some course that meant nothing. I said, well, I'm not wasting no money on you. And I'm not sending you to school for social time. See, what course did she choose? I think I like, I like psychology. Yeah, right. <laughs> This is the product of psychology. And you that have a degree in it, you can't help yourself, much less somebody else. Talk to me. If you think I'm just making stuff up, then okay. <laughs> the psychologist suffering from mental illness. I said, why did you choose psychology? I didn't let her answer. I said, well, it's because you're looking for ease. So you just want a college diploma or degree that you can show off. Look what I got on my wall. I'm a graduate from the stupid university. <laughs> and I have a degree in stupidity. I can't get a job. 
I can't do nothing to affect change in the society, but I have a degree. Your teachers are like used car salesmen who have sold you an education that you can't use. I say to hell with the school system, to hell with the education of this world. Now, <coughs> are you telling us, Farrakhan, that we shouldn't go to college? No, I'm not saying that. But in order to get something out of it, you got to bring something to it. And the problem with you is you're bringing nothing to the school, expecting something from it. What mind do you bring? What focus do you have? A social life, party life, smoke reefer life, learn the latest dance life. Is that what you are asking your parents to sacrifice and send you to college for that crap? Yeah. Is that what you want? Let me show you something from the Quran. That's why I say read. The Quran teaches that Allah created the human being to face, not run away from, face difficulty. So you don't want no difficulty, right? You just want to get through school. See, there's a big difference, isn't it? Because if you really want difficulty, you challenge yourself to a course that will aid in building a world. I want to be an engineer. That's a challenge. Oh, that's difficult. But the Quran says, with difficulty comes ease. And then in another place, it says, after difficulty comes ease. Don't ever choose ease and think you're following God's path. He never made it easy for none of his prophets. And he never made it easy for Jesus. The path was difficult. But with that difficulty, choosing such a difficult road came ease. Why? Because when you choose the thing that is difficult and you have the right mind to challenge and face the difficulty, when you overcome the difficulty, the ease that attends the difficulty means you have advanced yourself. You have advanced the world in which you live because you chose a path of difficulty to produce the ease that you wanted to start with. You know what ease is? Ease is mental satisfaction over success.